In this video, we'll be coloring in this African striped weasel. Welcome back to the Color It channel where we talk about anything and everything adult coloring with Color It's products. In this video, we'll be showing you how we color fur by coloring in a page from our Colors of the Jungle book. To achieve a textured look, we'll be using different kinds of mediums like markers, watercolor brush pens, and gel pens. Today, we want to color in the African striped weasel, one of the smallest mammalian carnivores in Africa. Before starting, we'd recommend you to have a reference photo to get acquainted with your new pet on your page. We're starting by placing a gray marker under base for the areas that are black and a lighter gray for the white areas. Whoops, sometimes the caps just fly off. If you notice, we're applying these colors in lines rather than circular motions. Fur usually has a striated look, and we're going to achieve that by applying the linear motions to our colors. Shorter fur, shorter strokes. Using the watercolor brush pens, we're applying a black color to the fur with the slightest pressure. We still want our underbase peeking behind the watercolor brush pens. Different degrees of pressure to create different depths of fur. This gives the weasel's fur texture, and with how we're coloring now, you can tell that the fur is quite coarse. We're going ahead and adding finer lines as well as highlights with gel pens. If you want your fur to seem smoother, you can make your strokes more uniform and go in one direction. Although the African striped weasel may be black and white, our weasel has been burrowing and digging through the savanna. We're showing nature as it is, and this weasel's been hard at work. You can definitely add in more tones to the animal that you're coloring, and the level of detail really depends on how close you are to the subject. To avoid making your drawings look flat, you can add a tinge of color from your subject's surroundings. In this case, yes, it's the dirt. We'll go ahead and color in our background, and you can skip to the end of the video to see our final page, or you can stick around and see how we color in the rest of our page.
And here he is, our African striped weasel. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon to receive notifications for new videos. If you found this video helpful, or if you have tips to share on coloring fur, leave a comment down below. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you.